Underneath it all, who are we sexually? Bible, cufflinks, and stilettos, with Giselle St. James. For mature audiences only. Watch Bible, Cufflinks, and Stilettos on Carib Vision, midnight on Mondays, and Friday nights at 11 p.m. Sponsored by Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. Thank you for joining us for the continuation of this episode. Please enjoy the program and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. What, what a lot of people don't even realize when you are aroused as a female it yeah. makes the passage so much easier and it's yeah. like you're flipping and sliding and the first thing in a man's head if he's not experienced is that yo she biggie she leapy yeah it ain't that sir Love she is us. just so excited by you yes with your big forehead she's excited by you and she's excited by the fact that you guys are having good sex so yes. she's going to be extra lubricated and her vagina as i said it expands from 2.7 whatever to do you see the jump you yes see how, i see, you see the big jump from here so look at that well, big lady jump. James. Lady Jane, so yeah. I look at what you were saying that this one from Healthline says the average penis length is 3.6. Exactly. In 9.9.1 centimeters when flaccid and 5.2 uh uh when erect. Okay. And the girl okay. size, the average flaccid penis measures 3.66 and around 4.59 when erect. That's it. So I mean yeah. <laughs> so listen to me can you imagine her taking something that is bigger than 4.5 you can't be screaming lord of mercy oh, on top inside my look goodness here. You need to walk. look here <laughs> Wish look, you here. To walk. <laughs> look here man I, I i see i think i saw satin brownie maybe uh -huh. hold on let me see she asked no it was kelly's a SMR right. says, what happens if the person you love doesn't fit in the physical requirement right. box that you desire? Right. How so does the couple handle that? Ooh, listen. You have to know what your priorities are. What are yes. your priorities? What's yes. more important to you? Be being with the love of your life or worrying about what they have? I mean, if that's what the Lord blessed them with, work with it work with it work with it some well, of us miss the love of our lives yes. and miss a good life because we're worried about the penis size now, you know they have this new thing now they apparently they because you know when you know they all tell you not supposed to have sex before marriage mm -hmm. so now they have this thing now these are people in the church they're gonna try it before they don't want you know what puss in the back puss in the bag. I'm like, where you get this stuff from? No, 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 stands, no sex before marriage. Exactly. So why are you talking about, you know what? You're trying to tell me that you are determined, you are determined a relationship based on a sexual, uh, 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 um, uh, you know, endeavor. I mean, come on. Yeah. That, does it, does it mean that because we have good sex, that means we're going to have a great relationship? No, it does not. No, it does not. No, it could be toxic as all from? hell. Where did it get there from? Look here, so I, I've, I've heard, heard not doing the way the world to be. Face. Don't make sense. Not doing the I've way the world has to be to, to to try it out now. Then what? I've heard this thing, Lady Faith, <laughs> that the most toxic relationships are attached to men with the biggest penis. Are you? Well, but of course, of course, of course. They think they're stalling. Oh, listen to me. 
them things say them is them like a, 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 a big, big, big ass, a big engine, a matic, a virtue. Yes, sir. Feel like say a Man, big who lied to them? Of. Who lied to them? Who lied to them? Oh, <laughs> you know, you know. The, the the whole idea of this question it is a stereotype that is yes, permeated yes. by us yes. exactly us women that's what us i was that's women. what I was. exactly it's true it's true because i grew up on you know learning about that hearing about that and thinking it was important and i realized exactly. it really isn't it's the type of person that you're married exactly that's the important thing you could deal with everything else after that exactly so in terms of Kelly's response, Kelly's um, question, how does the couple handle that? You know, you already have within your head what you want. For example, you pray for somebody who more than fits, just say the physical requirements, because we are so physical, we don't remember that there are other qualities that we need to pay attention to too. So when we are praying, when we are looking for somebody, we can't just say, okay, I want somebody who's brown. In When I'm growing up, Lady Faith, all I wanted was a brown man. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's because my 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 dad is brown. But me always want brown man. I always like brown man. You know what happened? I'm married to a black man. Look there. Look there. A black man. You get what I'm saying? Yes. And yes, he was slim. But after a while, when I started feeding him, he got chunky and See? thick. See? You get what I'm See? saying? And my father is not chunky and my father is not thick. See? So I'm See? looking at the fact that outside of what I wanted in my head for the physical attributes, there was yeah. something else that endeared me to him. And I had to look at that in terms of what God wanted for me rather exactly. than okay this is the physical thing that i wanted if you are committed to having a great marriage a great right. relationship exactly sometimes we have to get away from those physical you things got to get away and from look at where god is wanting to take us that's it that's it because like i said as we've been saying on many shows previous shows that marriage is a ministry it is it's a ministry it, is. it, it is. ain't got no to do with size it's a ministry no. And, and the funny thing is, I was reading here. It says here, a big, a big dick won't last longer than a smaller one. Hello. Running out of steam are coming faster. The whole of them will last the same time. If yes, last exactly. Time. It said for starters, sperm is produced in the testicles, not the penis. Oh, plus there's Hello. evidence that can that stress can reduce sperm quality and affect fertility. Oh yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So it's if you got baby making on the mind, the last thing you need to do is stress about your size. Mm. Okay? And stress yeah. can put a, a gibbish, a garbage on a sexual pleasure, bonus, and negativity, negatively, negatively impact your overall health. So, yes. I mean, you, you keep um, referring to his side. You, you're kind of demeaning him as a person. As a person. Kind of him down. That's it. Then that the psychological mess with the rest of the body. The body, exactly. Because you are putting him down yes. as a member and not a person, you know? That's it. That's it. But at the same time, I think Satin Brownie said it, especially with um the the, the example that you gave with the person that was suing the person. <laughs> a lot of times these men them overhype themselves too. It's true, just so foolish. They overhype themselves and them say, foolish. Oh, them have one big thing I work with. Yes. And them say, baby, I'm of 10 inch and them get it all excited. And when it comes down to it, Heather, they them have a micro penis. But, but guess what? Guess another thing, too, is it just, just came to mind some years ago. There was this man, he had such a large penis, it was this long. And when he did them pants, you have to kind of make it hang down to the side. And he had he had difficulty getting a date. Wow. Because the thing was this long enough. Who oh. was going to take that, sir? Mr. Who was going to take that? You know how, but I don't know if he had a date because the, he was going to ask him for help to get dates because of this big he has. And you see but a lot of persons who think he's blessed. Yes, but it was too huge. 
It was too big. Yes. <laughs> Mama said, womb destroyer. A womb destroyer. <laughs> she said, no hard sizes over here. Look here. <laughs> my, my vagina is this, y'all. When I'm around. Man, get what get am I going to do with all of this? The what man couldn't get a date. The what man couldn't get a date. I felt so bad for him. He couldn't get a date. That's what I'm saying. Couldn't get a date. In a date. <laughs> what am I going to I felt so bad for him. I looked at him and I saw the size in their pants. I said, Jesus. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> oh, somebody said, he, I know he was saying on Twitter that the man sent her to the hospital. After. Exactly. And you see, this is another thing, too. That's another um thing that we have to not cancel because yeah. it is so negative. Because if it don't hurt, if it not yeah. send me to hospital, if it not yeah. make me can't walk, it means that it is not good. What? Are you serious? That is yes, ridiculous. that is ridiculous. Because we have this thing in our culture, yeah. beat it up. I think it was it two chain. That. Two it chain said, that. "Beat it up like a rampage." Y'all know what a rampage no, is. That's not. Do good. you know what a rampage is, y'all? And you want somebody to beat it up like a rampage? What you would say? Take time with me, please. Take time with me. Take time with me. I yes. don't want somebody to be beating it up. I want pleasure. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. And, and I, now I, think I, was, I was reading here, the smaller is better because when you're doing um, anal sex. Yes, that's it, one thing I wanted to talk about. about. And when you're also doing, um, what was the other one? Anal sex and when you're doing oral sex. Oral sex, yes. It's Bring easier that. to get to the back of the throat. Yes. It's easier to get to the back of the throat. And yes. you know, I, I, I did a poll on my face, on my Instagram, and somebody right. actually responded and says, it doesn't really matter as long as she can fit it in her in her mouth. I'm good. Yeah. As long as she can fit it in her mouth, it's good. So those are some things that you gotta think about. You know what I'm saying? Now Satin Brownie responds and said, "Science matters to me because I do not want any humongous." Oh God, God, the average sounds wide. Ooh, ooh, I'm going with that one. Ooh, go inspired. J um, Jamaica Foundation says any size can be small or large really yes. especially if the event was not exciting i think when the outcome is great size doesn't matter that's so exactly true. right that's exactly right it's all about a mindset it's all about a mindset everything starts up here everything starts up here you get this right the rest of the body fall in line fall into place listen to me i remember one time i was bad some time ago when I was all in the uh, bad and in the world, there's this young man that, um, honestly, I thought he was nerdy. And, you know, I didn't think anything of him much or anything like that. And somehow we connected and we hit it off. And like we got so involved that I was surprised that we took it there. So we finally had sex. He didn't have the most amazing penis and he was so upfront about it. He did not have the most amazing penis. It wasn't as big as I thought, you know. Did you make you feel bad, did you? No, hell no. Because you know what? You know what? That young man turned me out. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? Mm, see, it's listen. all about the mindset. And you never embarrass listen. him. You never embarrass him. You no, him. because we hit it off so well. You never insult him. That's that I, I never insulted him, but we hit it off so well. So what he had and what I was used to, I was surprised, even for myself, that his size and his girth and whatever could have... You know what I'm saying? And yeah. when I'm telling you I enjoyed myself, it was amazing. Look at that. Look at that. And he wasn't even as tall as the persons that I was dating before. Mm -hmm. While 
persons I was dating who were tall, because you know, you know the correlation. Them say if you're tall and your foot big, it means say it's something big. So and you know the big. correlation. I have big. dated dudes who were gonna be tall and still have a weenie. Foot big and the only thing we long is this and it's very thin. Yes. When yes. Go yes. That, yes. Where am I going with this? Mm. When may I go with this? So as we say, there is no formula to it. You just bless it where you have and you use where you have. That's it. You use where you have. You get what I'm saying? I tell you, intimidation get me to you. Woo! <laughs> Talk about it. Talk about it. This will certainly keep you get you going. Oh, yeah. Download, download it on oh, the website. Yeah. Purchase oh, yeah. it. Download the website. I guess you keep you going. Get it get oh, you going yeah. if you need to get going. That's right. Wake That's you up right. real quick, too. That is right. See, here's a, here's another comment from Kelly. Kelly says, what is size without compassion, That's chemistry, right. care, yeah, and real love? That's right. Love. Exactly. And I'm telling you, exactly. real love, chemistry, it. it comes in all shapes. Yes, it, does. it comes in all sizes. That's and right. we should celebrate all shapes and all sizes. That's it. That's it. Because when I thought about that court case and I was looking at it, I said, wow, it would have been a beautiful relationship. Oh, yeah. Had she not gone there. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, why yes, why yes, you yes. want to insult the man's side to put all his business out in the street? That's not necessary. Exactly. That's totally not necessary. Exactly. You, know, cause you just kind of bring it, you bring it down to a prune when you do that. Oh, my goodness. Then then, it, then it, and his, his member is not going to work. He, and he, then work. who... Who he would have been if he yes. found the right person. He yeah. is now ashamed to bring that part of him out. So it's That's like right. you have just destroyed so much of him yes. just by what you've done. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Let your and partner feel ugly doing sex. E-worship connect. Let your partner feel ugly during sex. Mm -hmm. And this is probably something that I want to talk about in our next part. Because when we talk about the body size, the body shaming that women feel yes, when it comes yes, to yes. finding a partner. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about the size of her vagina, no. I'm talking right. about body. Those women who probably not have no meat on them bones, the women them who have probably were in their estimation too much meat on them bones, and how men make them feel about themselves. You know, what I'm saying when I when I remember, I think it was one of our first shows, Lady Faith, and somebody was asking, "How do I feel sexy again?" This is somebody in their marriage. How do I feel sexy again? So you are made to feel less than because they probably pack on a few pounds. You yeah, know, I don't understand that. When you have children, you do pack on pounds. So I don't you understand do. how you lose your sex appeal when you, I don't understand all that. You make it work again. You find the ways to get around and you find ways to, to do things to bring the stimulation back to the relationship. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you truly love her, does it really matter? Now, before you go a little further, I was just, the question is, I wanted to ask, why does the size of, of our vagina matter? I don't understand. What's the purpose? <laughs> What's the size of, why does the size of our vagina matter? I, I, don't, but, I, don't, I don't But then I think the, the, reason, the reason why it has become an issue, it's because of their issue. So when we okay. make them feel bad for their size, okay. they don't have to look at something to blame. So they're not oh. going to say, okay, maybe I am not the right person for you in terms of, because not all sockets fit, like not all plugs fit in not the socket. Key, yeah, key, yeah, key not key all key key fit every fit door. Right lock. Exactly. Yeah, you're not a master key for no, no, every door. You get what I'm saying? So when we think about that, none of us are mature enough to say, all right, maybe it's just not the right fit and just leave it at that. We start berate the man so oh, I'm too small and them something there. And now the man. Yeah, and I, I, hear that. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. We go talk right. to clap back. That's right. That's not right. Yeah, that's true. So, but still, you talking about the size of a woman's vagina? That makes no sense. That really don't make any sense. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you think about it. That's why they asked the question. It don't make any sense. Yeah. yeah. Because we we are we we are made designed this way to carry a baby. Mm. 
to have pleasure and to carry the baby. So mm. what do you talk about besides of of, of a vagina? I mean, that that's irrelevant. Exactly. Me. You exactly. know, you try to lash back, find something else yeah. that, that don't make sense. You know, yeah. and another thing too, these men, you know, a lot of these men, they look at your size and think, oh, she ain't this and she ain't that. Oh, she and lazy. Like, oh, with these, these, skinny, these little skinny women. These skinny women can't cook. Ooh. A lot of them can't cook. Mm. I talked to a few of them. I said to them sometime, I said, that's all you going to do. So what are you going to do? You, do you cook? Do you clean? Do you wash? No, they don't do all that. So mm. all you're going to do is lie your, your back all the time. That's it. After what, yeah. you going to want something to eat. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, they, yes. They, keep looking no. at, I mean, they can they can swing from the chandelier. They're tiny yeah, enough to yes. swing from the chandelier. I guess that's what they want. But, but it, you know, they want to really look good. I mean, okay. And, but can she, can she do some things at home to pleasure you make it? Because if you can't cook out, and you know, cooking also, even meals, you know, mm -hmm. that's all part of a sexual, um, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Food, you know, you yeah. know, I, I mean, a lot of different things to how you arrange the food, even the fruits Ooh. and stuff like that, Ooh, yes. you know, oh, connect yeah. to the sexual pleasure. Mm. So it's all she could good of just lie down, lie down and lie on the back of you. Do your thing. I mean, come on. After a while, that stuff gets stale. I don't care. Pardon it. right. my expression, but I think women get with a little meat on there, got a little something going on. Then they got some some cushion for the pushing. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Something to hold on to. Something to hold on to. You and know what I'm saying? When the right gets too rough. And when the right gets too rough, I'm something to hold on to. You know what I'm saying? Ride him, Jackie. Ride right. him, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> for a <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Right here, Jackie, brother, bro. Get up, get up, get up, oh, get up. Oh, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Listen to me. I just, I, I hate that we have to, to cut this, but we're, we're not going to talk about this enough. We're not done talking about this size issue. <laughs> We are not done. You know, I just wanted to highlight something that Satin Brownie said. <laughs> Christians claim they don't conform, but the yeah. human in them get affected by the mm -hmm. culture. And that yes. is what we want to dispel yes. right here. Yeah. Listen mm -hmm. to me. The concerns that yeah. persons have with all of the whole idea of penis size and and it's you're, you're concerned with that rather than the mental and emotional yes. worries and That's all of those cool. things kind of build up and create this yes. whole negative perception of self and this could pro probably be permeated or perpetuated by the whole watching of pornography or yes. even yes. Past yes. experiences yes. you know yes. what i'm saying you see when we say we're not done talk about the size the okay. size to yet ladies and gentlemen i therefore implore you as we come to the end of our show. Yes, Guard your heart with all diligence and do not taint your eyes or your thoughts with unclean things. Stay away from comparison because comparison is the thief that of joy. All right, Lady Faith has a book up for you guys. Yes. Let's talk about it, talk about My it. My book finally came forth. Hallelujah. <laughs> it came for it, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Yes, ma'am. We talked about this book for a while. And now it's here. 12 Erotic Fantasies for Intimacy. So I love it. Dance, yeah. The marital process. Yes. So it's coming. Uh, it's Hold it up to the camera. Hold it yeah. up to the camera. The location. Yes. Well, listen to me. I need yes. it. You see the banana over there. I need it in my life. The banana here, sir. I see the peach. Yes, my here. love. You see the peach, yes, sir. Yes, you see the arrow. You see the arrow go over to it. 
Yes, my love, my love it. I need it. I need it in my life, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Go and pick up, put it up again to the screen. We, we Dr. Got Faith. Got Dr. Faith Waters. Go yes. on um Amazon, guys, and go get it. Yeah. 12 erotic fantasies yes. for intimacy. We're going to the publisher. Oh. Gotta go to the publisher. Yes, okay, my it, girl. We're gonna hold. We're gonna put it on yes. hold. There's gonna be an ebook on it. Oh yeah. And, yes, I'm gonna have my book signing coming up uh, Saturday, October first. Ooh. Yes. Where yeah. is it gonna be? It's gonna be at uh, at the Mount Vernon Public Library, twenty eight uh, South First Avenue, Mount Ooh. Vernon, New York. Oh my it's gonna goodness. Be in the community room. Oh my so goodness. If you are getting married or if you're already married. Yes, yes, yes. If you single want to get it a gift for somebody, that's fine too. Mm-hmm. Okay, come on to the Mount Vernon Public on. Library. I love it. Saturday, love October first, eleven o'clock. Eleven to three PM. Yes, yes. man. I am so Sorry. excited. This is actually my third book. I am so excited, yes, Lady Fee. I'm excited. So now, now they got, they got, they got the they got CD. Fresh. Yes, so I like know that. this. Yes, right. This so yes. right. This so yes, sir. Come right. Right. That company now. That company. That is it. That is it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it is so sad that we got to end this yes, conversation yes, tonight yes. but listen to me we're back at it again next week it has been my pleasure being your host tonight thank you so much lady faith for joining us and enriching the conversation thank you to everybody who participated kelly's asmr e-worship connect yes. Brownie, um yvonne everybody who participated thank you so much for making this conversation what it is next week i hope to also share the comments from my IG as to what person said, and also to delve deeper into the whole idea of body image and how it affects us yes. negatively in the yes. bedroom. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been my pleasure. And yes. as you know, we are thankful for what God will do with this show yes. to our couples. So until next time, same time, three on clear. Yes. yes. Same time, same yes. place. We're here. Yes. Until then. Yes. Have great sex as yes. the Lord intended. Amen. Underneath it all, who are we sexually? Bible, cufflinks, and stilettos with Giselle St. James. For mature audiences only. Watch Bible, Cufflinks, and Stilettos on Carib Vision, midnight on Mondays, and Friday nights at 11 p.m. Sponsored by Women and Men of Excellence Outreach Ministries. Underneath it all, who are we sexually? Bible, Cufflinks, and Stilettos.